Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. We're going to basically go over scrolling headers and how when you scroll down a page, maybe you've got a transparent header or even a header that's got like a white or a black color background or even a transparent or whatever you got. Um, and when you scroll down, you want it to change color. You want the logo to change, you want the text to change, the menu colors to change. You want it to change color because if you keep it as the original with transparent or a certain color, it doesn't really work for the rest of your page. So if we're looking at this example page here, where we've got a header at the top with a logo and menu and social sharing icons, look, as I scroll up and down, it's, you know, it, 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 it kind of gets a bit messy and muddy when you get to this point here, like that. That doesn't look really good, does it? So we're going to show you how you can change that. And it is super, super, super easy with a little bit of code. So we're in the edit with Elementor part of the page. And as you can see here, we have, uh, by the way, I'm doing this header on the page. Normally, if you were gonna do this in, as a header, you would do it in the template section, but I'm only doing it here so I can very quickly just show you what's going on. And I didn't wanna add too many templates into my backend files. But so we have a section and we have a logo. It's a 50-50 section, by the way. We've got a header over here, which we're gonna swap out. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this for a moment and we're gonna bring in a image instead, okay? Because the text, it's we could use it, but I wanna use an image instead. What we're going to do is upload two files. Now, the two files I'm uploading are um, exact copies of one another. They both say scrolling, by the way, which you can see here. One is black text, one is white text. So what we're gonna do is bring forward the white text one at the moment like so okay and we're just going to put it as a left like that don't worry about the styling of that okay don't go oh my god that's too bold I'm, I'm only doing this video so you get an idea for kind of what i'm doing you know I, i'm not asking you to critique um the logo or anything whatsoever okay so don't worry about that we have a logo on the right hand side we have another column and we have the navigation menu, which is white, and we have the social sharing icons, just three of them at the moment at the top. Okay, cool. Now, here's the key bit, okay? When we scroll down, okay, I want the back of that to become white, all of it to become white, okay? And I want the scrolling logo to go from the white logo to switch to the black font or the black logo. And I want all of these icons here as well and the navigation menu to switch to be black as well. I don't mind it being white there, but then I want it to switch to be a white background with black text, okay? You would obviously pick your own color, but I hope you get the idea. Now on this image, okay, we need to give it a class name. So we're gonna call it original hyphen logo. You can think of more creative names if you want. Let me just make sure I write the right. Original logo, okay? This is just me using the words I use. I'm gonna call that original logo, okay? And I'm gonna click update. What I'm then gonna do is just make a duplicate. So there is now another version directly below or above, however you wanna look at it. I'm gonna to go to the one above, just for this. No, no, I won't. I'll go to the one below. And I'm gonna change this one now to be called, um, I need to check what I called it now. I called it scroll logo, of course, scroll logo. There we go, scroll logo, okay. And I'm gonna swap this image out to be the black one. So let's just do that, there we go. Okay, so we've got the white one and we've got the black one. Now at the moment, they're both visible and it looks very, very messy, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Now then, um, we're now gonna add in a bit of CSS coding, which is now gonna basically take over and manage the whole scroll effect and the changing of the background and the changing of the colors and all of these items. Here's the code I want to share with you. Okay, so here it is, and we'll just make it a bit bigger, bold like that, okay? And this code will be available in the description or the, probably what description, will be in the comments section. I'm just gonna copy all of this, okay, like, uh, yeah, like so, like that. Okay, I always have to make sure what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna go back over to my section, which is there. I'm gonna go to advanced, I'm gonna go to custom CSS, and I'm gonna paste that code in. Now instantly, the black text has disappeared. And what I'm now gonna do is just on this image, is just make sure this section is, uh, it's on middle, let me just get rid of the zero over here. There we go, there you go, it's just in line. 
Um, cool, right. So as soon as we added in that code, and I am going to add it in again, so we're on the section, okay, the white logo we called original hyphen logo, the black logo we called scroll hyphen logo, and in the section in the advanced custom CSS tab, we added in this code, like so. Okay, so what's this code doing over here? It's basically saying that when you scroll a certain amount or whatever, the background is gonna go a white color. Okay, so this entire background is gonna go an entire white color. It's not, there you go. It's kind of doing it now. And the reason it's doing it after I scroll a little bit, because I've already got the effects on set, I should have taken it off and I'll show you what I mean. So when you scroll a little bit, can you see what's going on here? As we scroll, the background goes white and the logo switches from the white logo to the black logo. Look at that, just switches like that, okay? Um, because what we're doing here is we're saying the background goes to white. If I was to change this to be, uh, let's just go for zero, 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 because I know that's black. If I scroll, it's now a pure black and you can't see the logo because that's black as well. So let's put that back to white. I think you can get away, yeah, you can. You, I don't know, force of habit, I always put in six characters even though you can get away with three. What we're then saying here is that um, the scroll logo, which is the black one, okay, right at the top, it is displayed none. So the black logo is displayed none. It's not visible. But after you've scrolled, which is what is happening here with the elemental sticky effects, that is standard, by the way, you don't rename that. What it will then do is the scroll logo, which is the black one, remember, this is the scroll logo, that's the original logo, that now becomes displayed. In line block, it becomes displayed. And the original logo now becomes display none. Does that make sense? So, so this then becomes none. So once you scrolled, the black one comes on, the white one disappears. And then over down here, we have this bit here where we say then um, anything that has got that class, which is menu text colors, which I'm just gonna copy now, when, once you've scrolled, I want them to become black. Now at the moment, I have not given them the class. So I've got to go to my nav menu, go over here and just give them that uh, class over there. And we'll go to the social sharing icons and we go to advanced and I'm gonna give that that class there as well. And then I'm just gonna hit update. Now, before I show that all in action, if I go back to my section, okay, this is the key bit, okay? If you go to motion effects, okay, let me just put this as zero. Everything has gone black. Oh, that one's not worked. I need to have a look at that. I think I've done something incorrect there. Um, so by having zero effects on set, straight away the white bar has appeared with the black text. But what we're saying is, by being putting in a value of 50, okay, and hit update, and you just gotta scroll a bit for it just to kind of, there you go. So it starts off with no effect applied, and it's not until you scroll 50 pixels that that will now kick in. If I type a thousand, it's not until I've scrolled way down the page will that effect kick in. So you can make it appear at a certain point. So maybe you don't mind it being transparent background until you're now past the hero banner, maybe. It's entirely up to you how you do that. So at the moment over here with my social sharing icons, um, I've just got to double check why that one did not change color. And it's probably most likely because I forgot to do something. In fact, what you could do is, so one of the tricks I do do is if I click on the social sharing icon, I will instead call that one original, this is me cheating now, okay, and it works. I'm gonna call that original logo, okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of that, okay, and I'm just gonna style it differently. So I'm gonna say secondary color is now black, which is what I want, and I'm gonna call that one scroll logo. This is me cheating, all right? I know this is cheating, but it, it's the same effect, isn't it? What I want to happen to the logo, I want to happen to the social sharing icon. So if I now view this page, when I scroll, look, it's seamless. Look, 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 it's seamlessly changing. It isn't another duplicated section. Sometimes you have some scroll effects. When you scroll, the first header disappears and then the next header comes in like it gradually fades on, um, slides downwards. 
And people go, yeah, that's really cool. I don't like that. I find it's a bit like, no, nah, I can see what you've kind of done there. You got rid of one and then made another appear. Whereas here, it is just a seamless effect. You know, um, that is it. That is it. It's dead simple. So you have two logos, original logo, scroll logo. Uh, for the social sharing icons, I did original logo, um, scroll logo, but they're actually social sharing icons. And then I got the nav menu down here and I gave it a class. And in the section, I just added this code in here. And you can change it and add your own colors in. Um, scrolling logos, they're dead simple. And the code will be in the description. I wish you all the best with this challenge. Good luck. Like, subscribe, and I shall see you soon.